Welcome to day 23. We're almost done. Today is the last day of rebuttal. Tomorrow will be closing arguments, and then we wait for a verdict. Six weeks. We're in the home stretch, and I just, I hope, I hope we get the verdict that we all want to see. But I just want to prepare you. Juries are unpredictable. Anything could happen. But I feel pretty good about J.D.'s chances. In fact, I I feel like there's a 75% chance that he's going to win this. I don't want to say 100% because you never know, but I'm feeling really good about this trial and where it's where it's going. We're going to talk about yesterday a little bit, but I want to show you some stuff here. Uh, his popularity is exploding. I thought this was funny. Uh, this dropped yesterday. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory hits Netflix top 10 during JD trial. Because this movie is kind of old, but it's one of the few... It's 2005. It found itself at number eight on the streaming giants top 10 as of Tuesday. Probably one of the few debt movies on the platform. So naturally, like this tells me people are searching out his movies and they wanted to wa- they want to watch them again. Like his star power is exploding right now because all of the country is on his side. I think this is amazing because. Like I said before, he's one of the few people I've ever seen become uncanceled. I don't think I've ever really seen it at this level. It's it's crazy. So it really doesn't matter if he wins or loses. He's already got the public opinion on his side, and that's really what matters. But check this out. You've got law professors, this guy from Stanford, furious that cameras are in the courtroom. And if you co- he, of course, uses the hashtag, I stand with AH. So I wonder why you don't want cameras in the courtroom. Probably because then all of the websites that are attacking JD still, and believe me, Legacy Media is still attacking him left and right. There's all kinds of headlines out there right now from yesterday about how... You, you know, he's garbage and, oh, look at these text messages, which we're going to go over. And if that were to happen, then, yeah, everyone would, would be ignoring all of the evidence that's been put out there. This trial being public like it is, is the reason he's become uncanceled. But people that want to protect uh, the the fabrications that have been put out there over the past couple of years, they don't like this because it's destroying everything that she did. So naturally, these people are a little upset about that. They're a little upset about that, that the truth is out there. They want the arbiter of truth to be the media. They don't want you to see this for yourself. They really don't. They don't want you to make your own decisions. This is why the media ignores the fact that everyone's on his side and they try to spin it to say the only people that on that are on JD's side are disgruntled men. They ignore all of the women, and there's a shitload of them that support him. It's really sad. Like, they, they're totally ignoring your voices. But as of today, this came out from Deadline, and I don't want to say it's going to happen for sure, because honestly, it would be a mistake for them to do. So here's where we're at right now. Uh, today, JD's team has one more witness and seven hours. I believe seven hours left of their time. Yeah, according to Ricada Law, Depp has seven hours and eight minutes. Heard has one hour and 16 minutes. So this does not include closing arguments. They both get two hours a piece for that. But as far as rebuttals go, they don't have a lot of time left. That's the problem. So put it to you like this. I think the final witness is somebody from that plane. So there's the infamous plane story where apparently he was 
going to town on AH and uh, everyone's everyone else's line, at least according to her, despite multiple people saying they never saw anything. Uh, she is uh, claiming all kinds of stuff happened on the plane. It's ridiculous. Everyone's lying but her. All of these people are lying but her. So I think a flight attendant is going to testify. I might be wrong on that, but I think that's their final witness. And I don't imagine that will take a lot of questioning. So if she's called up, because they'll have, I don't know, an hour left from that, because I'm, I'm sure they will they will cross that final witness for a little bit. So that'll give them about an hour left. So that gives them an hour with her on the stand. And then that gives that gives Team JD like seven hours <laughs> to grill her on the stand. They could grill her for hours if they wanted to because they got the all day, all day. So they could grill her for hours. So it seems like kind of a dangerous move to me. But who even knows if this is true? This might not even be true. Uh, they've been wrong before. If you remember, they were saying that Team AH was going to call Depp back to the back to the stand, and that never happened. So this could be false. It definitely 100% could be false. Now let's go back to some stuff that happened yesterday because there was a lot of significant stuff. The TMZ guy was was pretty important. That was a clown show because they did Team AH did not want him to get in there because what did it prove? It proved that what we all already knew was true. AH sold that cabinet slamming tape to TMZ directly. Why would she do that? Well she wants maximum attention. It's bad. It looks really bad. Also means that she's lied on the stand. Again. Again uh, Dr. Curry, very lovely woman, went up there and pretty much destroyed the PTSD argument that she has, saying that her her bought and paid shill expert psychologist that came up uh, was wrong. That was great testimony. But to me, the most significant thing, Besides this, which got ignored, and they should have brought this up, these text messages that say incoming on them, I wish, and maybe they'll do it on closing, uh, but these texts that, of course, there's already there's already headlines out there saying, oh, he for sure said these when he didn't. I'm glad he denied it. Um, he... They, they should have grabbed this and showed income on there, incoming. But the... The good stuff, and you will see no headlines on this, not one article on this so far. Maybe that'll change, but I haven't seen any articles so far. On the metadata guy, that they did not want to talk. They did not want that guy to talk. They tried to speak over him left and right. But you actually got to see him go over the pictures, her famous bruised pictures, and change the composition on them and the lighting. And you got to see all of those marks disappear. And the other interesting thing is the fact that the pictures are backups of backups of Apple storage. Third generation pictures are evidence in this trial. Messed up, isn't it? Uh, he basically said that a lot of the pictures were photoshopped which is pretty damn crazy. I thought that was powerful. But you know what you're not going to see? A lot of media coverage on that. Isn't that messed up? Isn't that sick? Anyway, what a trial this has been. It has been amazing. And uh, there's a lot to think about with this. And tomorrow's closing his closing statements. I will, of course, update on what happens today as well. So look for another video on that. But uh, closing statements tomorrow. We're almost in the end game, and uh, I just I hope we get the verdict. That I hope we get justice. How about that? I hope we get some justice, and we get the right verdict. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Also, if you would please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell, 
I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I do watch parties, play video games over there. They're always fun. Follow me over there and come hang out. Also, make sure you subscribe to Yellow Flash, my other channel. There's a link to that in the description as well. I do a lot of live streams over there that I don't do on this channel. They're usually smaller and a little bit more personal. So make sure you follow me over there and sign up.